morning, everybody. It's Lisa Sieversteig with Global State Mortgage. And Kaylin Lynn with Remax Real Estate Center. And I want to introduce our guest today. Hi. <laughs> this is Nikki Holland with Nikki Holland Design. Hi. Glad to be here. Yeah. <laughs> We're going to talk about staging today. Staging. So we happen to be in one of Kaylin's listings right now at 5505 Springbrook Drive in Ames. Yes. And this house happens to be empty. The owners right. have moved out. Yep. They moved to their new location. And so... You know, it's hard to look at a house when it's empty. Yes. And visualize. Visualize how you're going to live there and how the space works. So I called Nikki and I said, hey, we have a vacant home. And you know, it's really hard to take a, an attractive picture of a blank wall. Yes. Right. 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 So um, I asked Nikki if she would come in and, and help me out a little bit. And so talk a little bit about what you do when you first walk into a home. Yeah. Okay. So I like to get a good view of the entire space and kind of find all my different focal points and really what highlights the house because I want to show that off because that's really what's going to help sell the house. Mm -hmm. So like behind us here, huge focal point, which is styled because of course I don't have a television um, and you don't even have to have a TV up there. No, really. you, you don't. Could, you could style it just like this. Um, so basically I create focal points, um, highlight architectural elements and really um, emphasize the different colors and accents that you can do throughout the house. Um, yeah. So you're looking at the whole, and yeah, the whole, the, the whole space. entire house, yes. right? So let's take uh -huh. a little walk yes. over to yep. the kitchen. Exactly. The kitchen. Yeah. Gorgeous <laughs> kitchen, by the way. Yeah. yeah. This this cellar, um, it was a custom built, so it's some little unique features that you want to highlight too with the cabinets and all that. Huh. But we had an empty um, eating space, so it, it's hard to visualize how big of an eating space that is. So. Yep. And I try to keep things kind of simple, but. The bare necessities that really highlight, I don't like a lot of clutter, but enough to really make it feel homey and cozy and like allow you to be able to see what it could look like if you right. like the little recipe book. I love, right? right? You've see? Got the little Completely book. functional, ready to make whatever. Yes. Yeah, exactly. Chocolate crackle cake, maybe? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, exactly. So. That's awesome. So, we were talking about, so this house has what we call a flex space. Yes, it has a flex space in it. And so, it, 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 again, when I'm doing photography for a listing, and it's unoccupied, it's an empty room. Right. It's like, should we go look at let's look space? at the flex space and see how we stay, how Nikki staged it for us. This they built as a home office. And so it's got the, the French doors and uh, it could be a music room, it could be whatever, but I think just looking at it blank was challenging. So Nikki, talk yeah, about that a so little bit. so basically I just styled this to be a comfy reading area. Um, I could see this as an office. It could even be like a kid's play space. You know, if you, oh. if you didn't have to use this as an office, you could have that, um, you could have your own at home office. But I just really wanted to soften this and make it not feel so open and right. empty. So. Exactly. Well, so it's great to look at what the different options are. I mean, you right. can come in here and there's nothing in there. Right. right. How do I use this space? What am I going to use yeah. it for? It's a good visual and gives people an idea of how they can use it. Absolutely. And sometimes, actually, people will take my decor stuff that I've done and they're like, oh, just going to mimic that on their, oh. when they move in or yeah. their next space. So, That's awesome. Yeah. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. well, let's move into the bedroom, too, because, you know, when, when you have a, this is a four-bedroom home, um, and you, it's unoccupied, you have four um, blank rooms to take a picture of. And it's hard to visualize where that space can be used. So, yeah. Yeah, so this is a queen size bed, nightstands, lamps, it shows how comfortable it is. There's plenty of space for other furniture in here, but at least this gives, again, I keep saying focal point, but really that's what I do a lot to try to create. So. Absolutely. Which I think is great because if you just come in here and you're like, okay, I have a queen size bed, right. or you know, or what it, size bed fits uh -huh. in the yes. It like. gives you the scale and the proportions of the space. So. And you can even tell that you can fit a king size in here yeah. if you need to. Very there's plenty of space, mm -hmm. so it's it's a great visual. So okay. yep. Yeah, absolutely. And then when you're looking online, too, you kind of get an yeah. idea. Yeah. Because sometimes... Mm -hmm. That's what it takes. To know yeah, it exactly. Work. Mm -hmm. Yeah, right. Because sometimes the, with the angle of photography, you just get a corner. <laughs> yeah, I get a corner of that window. It's like, oh, I don't know what it's like. No, that's not very big, is it? <laughs> so if you're if you're in here looking at this home, don't jump on the bed either because yeah. it's an air mattress. Right. Oh, so. right. I gotta be able to lift it, right? Yeah. <laughs> exactly. So what do you do, Nikki? So say um, I'm gonna sell my house, mm -hmm. but I have not moved out, mm -hmm. right? And I'm living in it, mm -hmm. and it's me and all the folks in my house. Yes. All the people and the right. junk. Uh -huh. I got so, lots of junk, right? Yeah, right. Everybody does because that's just what happens when you live somewhere for a long period of time. So basically, it can be in different phases, but I get to walk through your home 
and get kind of a good grasp of how you live and how you function. And then I just kind of look for the edits, like what needs to come out, what needs to be moved. Um, and usually everybody's pretty willing because they're pretty excited. And I think home staging, I think, is really caught on. It's, right. I think people are right. more likely to embrace it because not many people take it personal. So I will give you a to-do list. Um, sometimes it's on the spot because sometimes I have to just see it, reconfigure, um, even hang pictures on the wall. It just kind of depends on each project. So, and you've done that for me also. Mm -hmm. Is is gone into mm -hmm. a home that's been yeah. occupied, areas yeah. occupied, yeah. and help help kind of edit mm -hmm. and move things around, and it really made a difference. Yeah. So how does that help? So on. So you have Nikki come in. So mm -hmm. you're you're listing a house. Right. Somebody's getting ready to list the house. Right. What would you say? This is a this is what it helps as a buyer comes in and looks. Yeah. And you have somebody come in. It really does because I think some people I've had um, when I'm um, working with buyers and showing. Home. So I'm looking at from that aspect. Right. So when I have a buyer, sometimes buyers get distracted by the stuff. Agreed, completely. And mm -hmm. then they it takes focus on how are you, you know, the mm -hmm. actual rooms and the mm -hmm. and the whole home itself. They get distracted by the stuff. Yeah. You know, if you have a you know collections of things, stuff. if you have too much stuff, they like looking at your collections uh -huh. and whatnot. Right. And they say you you know advice always been to de 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 personalize. personalize. Yep. Yeah. And that that really helps edit mm -hmm. so that they can focus on the space and the rooms and how they'll live and not on the stuff. Yep. Have you ever had anybody now we have decluttered and we love how it looks? Oh, and maybe well, we're, we're just gonna keep yeah, our house. One of the biggest <laughs> comments. <Stop it. laughs> Yes. Yes. Left. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. I always chuckle because people <laughs> always make these little fixes before they list that they've been living with for uh -huh. years. Like, um, if they, only they would have done. It. <laughs> yes. We could have done this five it's years true. ago. We just know that around. It's the final push to get it done. But, That's yeah. nice. I would say too, if you're living in your house and maybe you would like to live in it really nice before you go sell it, right? Yes. Yes. Um, yeah, I do home styling too, not just home staging. So yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Yeah. So, so it's good. So if you're going to list your house, mm -hmm. this is a great resource to have. Absolutely. Whether yeah. it's empty or you need somebody to come yeah. in yeah. Um, to get it ready for you. So they, I think, right? People look at a lot of houses mm -hmm. and you want to be the house. That's right. You want, you, want the, you want the best first impression mm -hmm. online and when they walk yeah. in the front door. Yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. Right. Absolutely. So we will actually put Nikki's information mm -hmm. below. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> questions about staging or how important it is or anything like that definitely also to yeah, yeah. we'll be glad mm -hmm. to talk to you about yeah. it absolutely great. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yes otherwise enjoy this awesome day yes. we have here mm -hmm. and thanks for listening yeah talk to you next week bye-bye